Hello students, always remember that comeback should always be stronger than a setback. In life, we often face many problems, many setbacks, many failures. But if we just take a pledge that we will not give up, then definitely nobody can stop us from achieving success. You might have failed J.E. first attempt or you might have hampered even the second attempt. But don't get disheartened. There is still a really, really good exam which is remaining and it should be in front of your eyes. I'm talking about Bitset exam. So let's watch this video from beginning till the end so that you can understand that even if you have not done very well in JE, but if you can prepare for Bitset, how you can do it? Can you make this thing happen in remaining two months? So we are going to look at all those points. If you are new to our channel, please subscribe our channel. Now let's look at the game plan that can actually take us to the dream campus of Pits Pilani. So here, what should be the first step? So our first step should be to take a deep breath. Right now, lot of things are going in our head that we have not done well in the first attempt or we have not even done well in the second attempt. What would be the result? Lot of things are going in head, but this is not the end. This is just the beginning of a new thing that can actually surprise us. So even if you didn't do well in JE mains or advance, it's not an end. So right now, people are also discouraged that they are not looking forward at JE advance that is going to happen. And they are not even confident about what is going to be their result in the JE mains second attempt. So now what should they do? So there is a good alternative called as Bitsat. Here, Bitsat window is still open. So you can actually play your cards really well and you can achieve success in this exam as it is one of the premier institutes which is comparable to top IITs. So it is one of the premier private institute that you can actually seek admission into. So your hope should not get shattered so easily. Now, why Bitsat is totally winnable? So see, it's not ju just about deep concepts, but it is also about speed and accuracy. Unlike JE, here speed and accuracy matters the most. In JE, you have 75 questions, whereas in Bitset, you have to solve 130 questions within three hours. So here, this is really, really important. Also, there is no reservation. It is purely merit-based. If you know the answer, if you can perform well in the exam, then definitely nobody can can stop you from securing admission into this institute. Also, if your JE prep gave you decent understanding, you already have that kind of level of foundation. So you actually hold a good position in cracking this exam and you have a good probability. So you have got good chances. Also, you can turn around your performance with focused revision plus MCQ practice. So daily practice is needed, daily revision is needed, mock test giving is needed, each and everything is needed, which are quite essential in your Bitsat preparation. Now let's look at some of the step-by-step -step process, how to turn your J failure into your Bitsat success. So here, our first step is accept, reset and refocus. So you have to understand that whatever has happened so far has happened. You should accept this. Now you should actually reset it, restart it. And once you can realign your focus, then definitely you can do well in Bitsat examination. So stop overthinking about your JE result and accept it and move forward and also use your remaining time, which are six to eight weeks to give, give everything, your 100% dedication and devotion to Bitsat exam. And next step is to know the game. Basically, what is about Bitsat? How Bitsat is different from JE? So here, depth of question. In J means it is more about conceptual and analytical, whereas in Bitset, it is more of conceptual, but speed is most important. So here, speed and accuracy plays a very, very crucial role. In J means we often see number of questions as 75 questions. It is written wrong over here, whereas in Bitset, it is about 130 questions. And apart from 130 questions, there are 12 bonus questions as well. Plus in J means here you have three hours and same time is allocated to Bitsat examination. And format is JE means you have these things online. So what is verdict all about? So Bitsat test speed, presence of mind and basics. You can actually practice your way to victory. If you actually work on the formula, you understand the formula that how Bitsat is structured, what you need to do. 
then definitely you can do well in this examination. Now, one important thing before we move forward, if you want to boost your BITSAT preparation, our Team 10Q Challenge brings to you two most important courses that can actually change the way you are preparing for BITSAT examination. And you can actually ensure success in this examination by boosting your speed and accuracy and by revising all the concepts quickly. So here we have BITSAT 2025 Crash Course and BITSAT 2025 Rank Booster Course. Here you can see the differences are already mentioned on these two images and you are getting all these stuffs. All these stuffs at just one place at our website 10qchallenge.in. So to enroll now you should visit our website 10qchallenge.in and for more details you can check out the details provided in the description box. Also remember that there is a special discount coupon code applicable on both the courses individually and definitely you should go and avail it right now and get yourself enrolled and kickstart your BITSAT preparation right away. If you have any course related query you can contact us on given number 8839737146 I repeat 8839737146 and you must understand that it is still not too late. If you wake up right now, if you can prepare for this exam and if you want right guidance, then definitely this is the right place. You should always check our website 10qchallenge.in for boosting your BITSAT preparation and you should right now start your preparation. Don't make it late. Now coming back to the third point which is essential is create a practical BITSAT plan. Here in the remaining two months, we understand that there are two attempts. First is your May attempt and second one is your June attempt. But you should create a plan in such a manner that both the attempts are really really important. So here your focus for chemistry should be on the NCRT. NCRT line by line you should by heart it. You will get a lot of conceptual based questions from directly from NCRT in chemistry. Then you should focus on high yield chapters in physics and maths which are quite crucial. If you want us to make videos on high yield chapters, do mention it in the comment box. Further, logical reasoning and English are also equally important. They play a critical deciding role in boosting your overall score in BITSAT examination. So don't at all underestimate it. Plus, you should practice on your speed. Speed is really important. Here it is mentioned some error is there. So here so you need to solve 130 question within 3 hours. So you should become really, really good at your speed and accuracy. So you need to follow all these steps. Then mock test are your weapon. The most important thing after learning all these things is your mock test. So you should attempt mock test once you are done with your syllabus, once you are done with your revision. And one of the most important source of practice is our crash course also. So you can check out all these stuffs below in the description box. Plus you can find mock test even included in our BITSAT crash course. So this is really good source of practice of mock test as well. What should be your strategy about mock test? So basically you should attempt one full mock in every two days. Plus practice sitting for three hours straight. Train your brain like that. When you actually habituate yourself regarding the surroundings, how you want to sit and appear in the exam, you will definitely be able to get accustomed to the actual scenario and you will do well even in the actual examination. Also, what you are supposed to do after your examination, after you have submitted the exam, you must analyze your performance, where you were losing your time and where you were going wrong, how much marks you have lost, what you need to work on that part, you need to focus on those areas, revise them and try to do well in the upcoming exams. Now, what is the most important thing is that don't just practice, but you should also practice smart. Mark and revise weak chapters. You must understand that where you are going wrong or where you are lagging. Identify those areas, mark them and start revising them. Revise your weakness. Make a formula plus concept, quick concept sheet. Any key, this is your short notes. So when you are able to work on your short notes, then definitely you are just done through this exam. Also, you are quickly revising those things in very less amount of time. Plus, you must set some kind of daily targets like I will do today two chapters plus some kind of question practice like 50 MCQs or odd 100 MCQs. And when you 
make a practical plan like this, then definitely you can achieve success. And if you want some kind of ready-made schedule or formula and proper guidance and understanding, you can check our crash course also. Details are provided in the description box. Now, I hope that you have understood the whole process, how you can actually appear in these two months and you can actually prep yourself for bedside examination. So, you should not give up at all. You must have that firm determination that right now I have the bedside right exam in front of myself then definitely you can do well in this exam. Now you should also look at some of the inspiring success stories that actually have happened with us. So there are a few JE turnaround bedside success stories that have actually happened with our actual students. So Ria was one of our student who scored 68 percentile. She was part of our bedside crash course batch and she performed only 60 8 percentile in J means but she got miraculously 314 marks in bitside 2023 after rigorous practice of six weeks so she didn't give up she worked hard consistently and this was her outcome second story is about aditya aditya actually failed je advance but he was actually our last year student and there was new branch mathematics and computing and he actually got admission into it how did he get it he was he actually got disheartened with JE advanced performance but then he used his NCRT strength he sought guidance from us and we actually worked hard together to understand where he was going wrong and this is how he succeeded in bitsat examination so there are similar lot of success stories that where people have hampered JE mains JE advanced but they did not give up they got right guidance they got access to right resources that is our bitsat crash course and in actual examination they actually did well in bitsat and got admission into one of the premier institutes that is bits pilani goa and hyderabad so i hope that you have understood that how you should not at all give up at this crucial juncture you must take a pledge that you will make a comeback stronger than a setback hopefully this video was quite useful for each of the aspirants who are eyeing at bits pilani now See you in the upcoming videos. Tab tak liye jai hind. Thank you. God bless you and keep preparing.